What is good YouTube? Welcome! Today you are all going to bear witness to my first ever video editing tutorial. Yeah, that's right. I finally feel competent enough to teach a little bit of Premiere Pro. I've been doing this for a while now and I finally feel good enough to be able to teach you guys a little something. So listen, have you ever accidentally deleted an audio track from your timeline sequence and been like, WTF do I do now? You know, my, my audio is gone. I have my track here. I don't know how to fix this. There's an easy fix and I'm going to teach you how to do that in this video. Welcome back. My name is Vasco. I'm a full-time photographer by day, YouTuber by night. Here's my link to my website if you want to check things out. But let's get to the point. Today we're going to talk about how to recover lost audio. And I've made that mistake many times where I accidentally deleted my audio track and then I go into the bins and search in the bins, search in the bins, search the clips, search the clips to find the right clip. Then I find the right clip and then I try and cut it so it fits the missing audio and put it all back together and the whole process takes like 20 minutes until I learned how to do it the right way. And it is such a time saver. It's helped me so much over the past few years in my editing. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do it right now so you guys don't make the same mistakes I make. So let's get into Premiere. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro and you can see here we have a clip with audio. Off the only light. There's is this me talking and, and then we go to this clip. We lost the audio here. What happened? Oh no. And we have another is, clip uh, here with audio. It is pretty awesome. I'm this is really the new computer liking this. I just built and we lost the audio again. Okay, accidentally hit delete. Whatever happened, it happened. Okay, so we want to get the audio back onto this clip here. So what you do, you put your playhead over the clip. Uh, you select the clip by clicking on it. You hit the up arrow to take you to the front of the clip. Then you hit F for match frame and if you had like F is is the default key for match frame but if you had you know rearranged your keys and reprogrammed it it might be something else but for most of you it's probably going to be F and as you can see the clip appears here in the source window so if i click here on this clip and hit F it'll appear in the source window so this is an easy way to find the clip that's missing the audio and uh, it actually, when you hit F and you ma hit match frame, it doesn't take this clip into the source window. It takes the original file into the source window. And you can see here, there's the in and out point selected. What? Yeah, isn't that so cool? I know when I first learned this, I was like, oh my God, this makes my life so much easier. So what you do now is you take the clip, you click on it, you drag it back down the timeline and you can see the audio is here. What? Super easy. That was the door open, you can't see. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We, we did a shot and uh, we got to use, or we did a photo shoot and we got to use this McLaren. And uh, this is our model getting out of the McLaren. And as you can see, we got another issue here because this is a 4K timeline or 4K sequence and this video was shot in 1080p. So what you can do is you can click on the clip, you go to scale the frame size and boom, there you go. Problem solved right there. So we're going to do it again for this one. Uh, we click on the clip, hit the up arrow, hit F and then drag the clip back from the timeline. And there we go. Well, now we got to uh, scale the frame size. And, and that is that. All right, good people of YouTube, that is it. That This tutorial is finished. Thank you for watching. I will be making a lot more tutorials on Premiere Pro. I'm a photographer by trade. I had to teach myself Premiere and I've been doing it for about four or five years now. So I have learned a few tricks of the trade and I'm gonna make some videos teaching you guys what I know so that you guys can learn a lot faster than I did. And that's the plan. So if you're into this kind of stuff, please subscribe. I'll be dropping more tutorial videos soon. And I'm also gonna be doing tutorials on Photoshop since I'm a photographer and I edit photos for a living. But yeah, that is it. This video is over. Peace out. I will see you guys in the next video, whatever that video is. Peace.